Hello, I am Trung X, as you can see, this week's diorama is about a Spinosaurus dinosaur hunting for prey. Spinosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs, along with Trex, I'll start sculpting the swimming Spinosaurus model using polymer clay. This type of clay is suitable for dioramas using epoxy resin because high temperatures of the epoxy resin environment do not affect the clay. I find sculpting the Spinosaurus itself not too difficult, but creating its skin texture, teeth, and claws took quite a bit of time. I'm not a professional clay sculptor, but I'll do my best to make them as realistic as possible. In the painting stage of the model, I apply a layer of white acrylic paint first, followed by the main colors. There are a lot of color suggestions for Spinosaurus on Google and Pinterest, yet I want to mix my own colors. It's quite vibrant, but I like it that way. What do you think? Let me know your opinions on the pose and colors of the Spinosaurus model in the comments section below. Next is the mold making stage. I usually use smooth plywood for the mold, as it's easy to remove from epoxy resin. 
If you're a beginner, remember to seal all the gaps between the plywood pieces. I want to depict a rock wall with some vegetation above for the diorama's background. I use styrofoam to shape the rock wall and add a few rocks at the bottom of the water, then paint them with acrylic paint. Beneath the water, there will undoubtedly be algae and aquatic plants, so I'll add a bit between epoxy resin pores. Oh, I almost forgot the most crucial supporting characters, coelacanth fishes. These unlucky fish are about to become a sumptuous meal for our main. There are plenty of illustrations of coelacanth fish, but I'll sculpt them with a few personal touches. I hope the paleontologists watching this video won't be too upset. I always want to make my fish as colorful as possible. They look beautiful, don't they? I wish they could turn into real fish, then I would raise them in my fish tank. as I want the Spinosaurus not to be completely submerged in water, and its dorsal fin to still protrude above the surface, I'll have to perform surgery on this part. Whoa, I'm such an experienced veterinarian. That's not true but still. I'll continue pouring epoxy resin in layers. In each layer, I'll place a few fish and draw some algae. When it's done, it will add depth to the diorama. I don't want to pour epoxy resin all at once because then I'd have to use support sticks to keep these floating, and they would look very unnatural. The downside of what I'm doing is that it takes time, and when both sides of the epoxy resin block dry, you'll see some thin streaks. However, the main face of the diorama will still look beautiful. After removing the mold, I'll polish the main surface and the sides of the diorama. For the top surface, I'll create simple water wave patterns. If you notice, I also split the rock wall into two parts, one for the mold and epoxy resin pour, and the other for attaching the trees and placing on top of the rock wall in the epoxy resin. The forest is made from small dry branches in my backyard, with some artificial grass added. A small stream flowing down from the rock wall into the water looks nice, right? I think this diorama has turned out quite lively. And finally, I'll attach the dorsal fin to its rightful position on the Spinosaurus. 
my diorama is now complete.